you started the EMOM company. So yes, can you go a little bit more in depth about that and like why did you start it and yeah. you know and how it's where it's going now? Yeah. Um so like that 2022 like after the 2021 season 2021 uh, was the last year I competed at the CrossFit Games. I was living in Oklahoma that year I competed. Um I moved home in August to start working for my father. And he was actually he had gotten very sick with COVID and was out of work for a couple months um not only was he out of work from covid he had, he had also taken like two weeks off to go watch me in madison and got sick in madison so then when he got oh, home geez. he was, he was yeah. out of work for a while uh and so i i moved home early from oklahoma because the work was getting so piled up he asked me to come home to like start taking care of, of business and he was actually afraid that he might he might pass um it was he was on an oxygen tank and it was actually like man it was it was a thursday and i called him i was like hey dad like if you need me to come home like you would tell me right because at this point it had been like a couple weeks and he was not getting better mm -hmm. he's like yeah i'd let you know i was like okay and he's like i was like well do you he's like no i'm good right now and then the next day he's like how how soon can you get home so i was like i'll be there monday dude uh, we, we picked up a couple of U-Hauls, put as much of the, our, our furniture and stuff in our house and at, that was in our house as we could into a U-Haul, drove home on Sunday and, uh, unpacked on Monday and Tuesday. I started working with them. Um, after a few weeks, we kind of got some things under control. I was able to catch up on a good bit of work. Uh, and, uh, I went back to Oklahoma for a week to finish packing up the house and then moved home and was working. And we were still a little bit backed up, so I was doing quite a lot, getting adjusted to the new schedule, getting it like adjusted to every new hospital I was working in. So it was, it was quite overwhelming. And uh, I just didn't have that one constant of my life as much of like training and like feeling good about like what I did physically. And so I think in November, like I was like, okay, like I'm just going to start doing my own thing. Like, because I, I was actually... I was either following like jump ship training with Seth, who used to be part of Misfits. Um, mm -hmm. I think I was following like his his stuff, and I just like wasn't where I used to be, and like that ego played in. I was like, I'm not fit anymore. Like not, my times don't compare to anybody anymore. Like this is this is making me <laughs> it's making me sad. It's like I'm just gonna <laughs> do my own thing, so like I don't think about anybody else. And there was like I mean I used to do during residency. Whenever I would get home at like 6.30, I only had like 30 minutes because like I, I wouldn't train late. I'd refuse to train late because it messed me up for the whole next day. I'd yep. do a 30-minute EMOM. I'd pick a barbell movement or like a, a loaded movement. I would do a body weight movement, and I would pick a machine, and I would just rock it for 30 minutes or 10 rounds. And so in November, I was like, all right, I'm just going to start doing 30-minute EMOMs, dude. I'll ride as many of them as I can, and <laughs> I'm going to start doing them. So like I did my first one and did like, I remember how good it felt to do something in the gym again and feel like I accomplished something like something really difficult and like, it just felt good. And like, it brought me back, man. Um, and so my brother-in-law, my sister, my wife were all in the gym with me that day. And, um, I was like, I talked to my bro, my, my brother-in-law, Ron, his name's Ron. Um, I was like, do you think other people would want to like see these workouts? He's like, Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, like, why not? I was like, okay. And so uh, I thought of the name, like the Imam Company, thought it sounded snazzy. Um, I don't know, like it, something drew me to the name, uh, created Instagram profile. And then just like whenever I would do 30-minute Imams or an Imam of any sort, I would snag a video and throw it on Instagram. And, you know, I would do that like two to three days a week. Cause I didn't owe anything to anybody. I wasn't doing them every single day. Yeah. And, uh, but after a while we kind of built up a repertoire of like workouts and people were like following and people started asking for like a daily program. I was like, dude, I don't, I'm not doing a daily program. I don't want to <laughs> owe anybody five days of programming per week. That's too much work for me. Um, no one, I don't think enough people would follow it to like make it worth my time. And then enough people started asking. Yeah. So again, I went to my brother-in-law I was like, Hey, like, what do you think about like maybe we make this like an actual thing and like we give it a shot? He's like, he's like, why don't you beta test it on someone first? And so like I had a buddy who was in law school, super busy kid. I was like, can I beta test this like 
let me just see if I can even come up with like five on the minute style workouts a week, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I ran with that for a couple months and he's like, dude, it's good. I like it. It's fun. Um, so I kind of developed like a, you know, rubric of like how the week would look. And we started a daily program, uh, and we try to do everything in like within like a 45 minute time. So like a warm up, every, like every other day was a lift. Every other day was a full, like, so it'd be like every other day would be like a, a short lift into an imam or an imam into a short lift. Mm -hmm. And then the other days were like long imams. And every Saturday was a 40 minute imam. And there's no lifting. It's like just a 40. Like, you, it's like everyone, dude, everyone wants to go in on Saturday and get a long grinding workout and then be just like wipe the rest of the day, go spend time with their kids or go barbecue or just whatever. Like yeah. you got like Saturday was your hard day and we would throw in like minimal equipment and body weight workouts every week. So that the idea that we started behind was like to give people a heavy dose of fitness in a short amount of time without having to like worry about like, was my performance good? Did I do enough um, to have like, it was like get in and like whenever you're out, you have no questions. You did the work, you know? Mm -hmm. And so like that was kind of our philosophy that we started behind with like our daily program. And like that grew slowly. Like we started with like 25 members. We grew to 50. I remember like the day we hit 50. I was like, dude, this is so cool. Like 50 people care about what I'm writing. You yeah. Know? And yeah. we would get like, you know, on, on months where we got like 15 trials. I was like, that's so cool. We got 15 trials, like 15 new people tried it. And um, we slowly grew. We added in like a competitive program. Um, and that started out really slowly and it slowly grew. And uh, this year, I think it's been like two and a half years um, since like I started the Instagram. Um, we have like our following exploded at the beginning of the year from like a few thousand followers on Instagram to like 90,000 out of like nowhere. And 90,000? 90, uh, that's almost 90,000. Yeah. Holy crap. And like for that's no a... reason, <laughs> like no reason. That is insane. Insane. Yeah. Um, and like we have a pretty awesome membership. We have an awesome community. And uh like I had no I had no expectation for it ever other than like I wanted to provide value to the, the community that followed us. And yeah. even to this day, I am very adamant about continuing to add value to our community. And so people can go to our Instagram page and see hundreds of workouts for free and uh like that like I, that is still what i care about is just providing value to the the people who have been there with us and like are hopping on with us now you know yeah yeah and you have great some great testimonials on the website too of like just like quick blog posts on like you know people that do the emom you know company workouts and stuff like that and how good they feel like during the workouts and how they feel better from when they first started yeah um it's it's all very simple stuff it's just gritty and like that's it doesn't have to be complicated it's just got to be consistent you know you just got to get yeah. in there every day and just make it happen and then we have a pretty good format of just like start the clock and get going yeah now have you had like other people from like different groups kind of like help you out like pave the way to like you know for memberships or anything like that how do you mean like, you know, maybe the guys from Misfit be like, hey, you know, you may want to try this way instead of this way. Like, kind of like um, a, I don't know, gotcha. like a, you know, someone to watch over. Um, Not not really, per se. Um, I did talk to Seth Page with Jump Ship because he was my person. He was like, he was a personal coach for me my yeah. last year I competed in CrossFit and is a, a good friend of mine. And um. You know, like whenever I first started, he liked the idea of like the on the minute style training and I was getting like I was feeling awesome doing it and like people enjoyed it. And, you know, things were like catching people's eyes. It's like really hard grinding 30 minute imams. It's so, like I kind of talked to him a little bit about how he grew because he's grown very successfully. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. From like very small to like he's doing very well now. And, um, you know, asked like some tidbits there. Uh and so like he definitely gave some guidance but you know my brother-in-law and i like you know he he's a project manager and kind of has you know overseen some things that like grew with companies and mm -hmm. um we, we we've had like you know there's a friend of mine from underdogs who's been like dude you should try this uh like i think this challenge would like hit off and 
I was like, okay, like we'll try it. And that challenge like <laughs> doubled our membership in a month. <laughs> I was like, that, nice. that works, you know? Yeah, so yeah. like, yeah, we, we've, I've been lucky to like just pick up from a few, th- like I will never say like anything I've ever done is certainly not at all by like just my, my work, like singularly, like there's always been a team behind it. And there have been like a few things picked up from other people that have been massive. And so now, you know, we've got, you know, a team of like five people who are working on this little project with me and uh, it's pretty cool. Nice. Nice. And so how many members do you have now? It's a bit over 500 now. Oh, and uh, at the first of the year, I think we were at 120. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so is it almost at the point that you can leave your other job to do this full time, or is that even like in the? I don't in want your to. mind. I yeah. don't want to. Um. So the the physics company that I work for, I own with my father. Yeah. Um. And I love what I do. It allows it. It has allowed me, and still allows me, to do the Imam Company and reinvest every dollar that we make back into either people, the or the community, and helping mm-hmm. it grow. So I mean, we we do challenge like the first challenge we did was like okay, we're like we're gonna give away fifteen hundred dollars to Rogue, and if I was taking money out of the bank account for myself to like to to pay any kind of bills, like I wouldn't have that freedom to give back. True. Yeah. And so like we just ended we just ended a challenge last night. Well, I'm about to pay out like two grand in prizes, but like I get to do that because I don't take a penny out of the bank account. Yeah. Um, it all gets to go right back to the people who support us and and you know trying to grow as much as we can. And so like the physics allows me to do that. Mm-hmm. And so I, and I I love what I do. Um, I I have no intentions of stopping that um, because I do love it. And so like yeah, I'm, I. As long as I can do both well, I'll keep doing both. Yeah. Now, how do you juggle all three of the, like, you know, training, Iman company, Iman company, and like the physics company? Like, how do you juggle, even even hanging out with your wife and like doing out stuff on the outside? Like, how, how do you balance like all those things at once? Um, it, it was, a, I mean, it's a, it's a gradual growth of like things that you do day to day, right? This, you know, at, at one point I was just a student and just a CrossFitter. Um, and then I was just, you know, working for my father and training whenever I could. And then, you know, I started the imam company and started that. So it's just like all these things just kind of become routine. So like at some point your day just starts at five 30 and you start working as much as you can and you train when you can. And then at seven 30, you're like, okay, I'm done. So like, I try to, I try to do as much as I can each day. Um, during this time of the season, it's really challenging uh, to not get. Sp- it's been like that's that's one of the things over the past couple weeks, especially like through quarterfinals. It's very challenging. Um, like I'm I'm a little bit behind on work for physics, but I also know that like this is maybe my last chance to compete at semis, and it might be my last year. And so like it's okay to put the focus here because on Wednesday when I get back, I've got a full day of work. And uh, I'll just I'll just steamroll as much as I can then. So like sometimes there are surges of one or the other, and sometimes it's all even keel. And the the biggest thing is just sort of like just to keep doing productive work as much as you can, as frequently as you can, and have a time where you shut it off. And for me, that's like seven or seven thirty. And yeah. uh, I, I get a couple hours with Kristen at night, and then it's off to sleep, and then we wake up and back to work. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're like, I don't get, I used to get overwhelmed with it, I think, because it was so much. And I was like, you know, feeling very spread thin until I just, I, I, I wrestled with the thought enough of like, okay, I just love doing all of these things. And so like, I get to wake up and I get to start working and I love it. And then I get to work out, which I love. And then I get to eat breakfast, shower and go to work, which I love. Mm-hmm. And then after I'm done with work, I'll go back to the gym, which I love. And then I'll come home and I'll spend time with my wife, which and you so, love. So who I love, <laughs> and so it's like sometimes yeah, it's, it's that doesn't make it easy. Yeah, but I just I like the process, man. I, I like the mm-hmm. journey. I like the things that I do. Yeah, you're you listen seems like you're like a big schedule guy. Which dude, no? schedules. Yeah, <laughs> I have a scheduler, but like with with the physics work, it's like some days I'm. I'm an, like, I mean, I work most of, of my job in New Orleans, which is about an hour away. 
And so like dude, there's days where I start at six or six thirty AM. There's days where I don't start till four you know, four PM. It's mm-hmm. just all over the place, which is why I just do as much as I can with the time that I'm allotted, which is why I wake up at five or five thirty every morning to start programming. And then if I can, I'll go work out or I'll just go straight to work. Or like just it's just like day to day. And it's I think it's just habits, it's not routine, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I got it. Yeah, because I I'm a, I'm from, I got a military background and we had like a schedule kind of like almost like a routine too as well and it's like yeah. it's really hard I got really comfortable doing that kind of routine stuff and then like I got way too comfortable and then it started affecting like other things in my life that was like you know to be honest with you more important so yeah, yeah it's like it's gotta you gotta have that balance of everything yeah so I mean I I try to figure out what the day is gonna look like the day before um but i mean like you know last weekend was supposed to be a three-day training weekend from friday to sunday but i worked half of of saturday and so as soon as i was done working i was like i I gotta find a gym Uh, i I got some buddies in new orleans you've got gyms i got some friends in baton rouge you've got gyms so i found a gym to go train at for you know maybe an hour and 20 minutes and i went to a baby shower for my a a gender reveal for my younger sister she's having her her first son her first child son nice and uh I was like, all right, I'll be here for two hours and then I will go home and I will go to the garage and I will train until 7 p.m. And then I'll eat dinner and I'll go to sleep. And that was my Saturday. Woke up, nice. worked, trained, spent some time with family, trained, 